I'm Al Avatabile. I'm a retired professor from the University of Connecticut Waterbury campus. And uh, my research area is honeybees. Uh, this weekend, I am part of uh, the bee wellness program, and I'm one of the instructors. Well, I think bee wellness has been a great uh, success in helping beekeepers uh, dealing with uh, bee diseases and bee parasites. And uh, by the uh, turnout that she has received over the last three or four years, it certainly has been, I think, a great advantage to beekeepers who many go on to teach their clubs the same processes. Today we were looking for uh, varroa mites in the beehives. Uh, this mite was discovered in Florida in 1987 and is probably the most destructive pest of honeybees. So we uh, were showing uh, students how to do a mite count uh, to determine whether it was necessary to treat the hive with a miticide in order to control the mite population. Here, uh, while I was at the DICE laboratory, I, uh, I think I made a significant contribution to bee research where we had swarms of bees with the queen in a cage. And on the second takeoff, we anointed worker bees with queen pheromone and the bees continued to the home site deserting their queen. So by using the queen pheromone on the worker bees, the swarm believed it was cognizant of the queen was actually accompanying them to the home site, where in fact they left the queen behind, the actual queen. So we know that a swarming honeybees, when they move to a home site, are guided by uh, the presence of the queen's pheromones to tell them the, the queen is actually accompanying them on their way from the bidwack to the home site. 